Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Real Farm. So let's do a quick recap on sort of how we got here and where we're going. We'll take a look at the vehicles that we currently own and or lease. Uh, you can see that we have a truck. Now the first thing I want to do here is get rid of this truck because I don't really have any reason to own it. Now the reason why you would keep this around is to run you back and forth to the different shops if you need to buy seeds or buy you know whatever the case may be but for the most part right now anything we're buying is a farm implement so we're going to need to take the tractor there to do that so we're going to select this and you can see that we can sell it we're going to get twenty two thousand five hundred let's go ahead and do that so now that leaves us with a tractor that you see no trade-in value and that is because we are renting it and it's costing us nine dollars a day plus uh, some amount of money uh, per working hour that we use it. So not bad at all. The rent is is nothing uh, for us to worry about. We also have a plow and we have a cultivator. What this means is that we're now gonna be able to start doing some of our own jobs. And as we buy more equipment and more jobs that use our own equipment become available, we'll start to be able to make some more money. In case, is point, in, case in point is the cultivating job that we took a look at at the very end of our previous video. So we have a cultivating job on field number five. I'm not exactly sure which one that is yet, but I'm sure it's somewhere around here close. It is nearly one hectare. And in addition to the $4,700 that we would normally get for completing this, we're now gonna get an extra $3,100 for an equipment bonus. So let's go ahead, accept this one. And let's see, where is it at? There it is, okay. I knew it couldn't be too terribly far away. So now we've got our cultivator already hooked up to our tractor from where we purchased it last time, and we are gonna head over to the field. All right, now hopefully I'm going to remember because my intention is once it gets daylight, I am going to slow down time. All right, here we go. All right, so we've made it onto the field, which is going to trigger the job to begin the, in the countdown to begin so let's go ahead and unfold the tool and this should be a good bit quicker and better let's see there we go activate the tool and now we should be able to do this a good bit quicker than we did in the last video where we had to use the farmers equipment which was about half this size so now we are in good shape and you can see the blue progress bar is already speeding its way toward completion. As soon as it gets more daylight and gets toward the middle of the day, I'm going to actually slow down time. Now, one of the reasons why I would want to accelerate time here is simply because, and once again, we are, for some reason, it is, I don't know if it's the field or if it's us, but we can't, it's like we're deviating off course. But regardless, all right, let's go ahead and, and begin making our corner. Oh yeah, that's pretty good there. It could be better, but not too bad. Uh, but one of the reasons why you would want to uh, speed up time is because there seems to be in the game right now, there's only so many jobs. It's almost like it generates a certain number of jobs per day. So if you have time slowed down any at all, then it's, it's possible that you could run out of jobs. Now they're working on that, and as time goes on, I'm sure that will be become a non-issue, but for now, it seems to be somewhat of an issue. All right, so right now, this actually looks to be a good time, about six in the morning. All right, let's go ahead and escape, go to options, and let's go ahead and turn this down. I'll tell you what, we'll leave it on normal for now. All right, if we start to reach a point where we run low on jobs, which should not be anytime soon, for sure, but if we do hit that point, then we can slow time back down or excuse me, speed time up a little bit more. And that should help out with that. All right, let's go ahead and try to turn. All right, trying to get used to the width of this cultivator. Okay, so we're not using quite all of, of the width on the field itself within the field boundaries. All right, let's go ahead and turn there. But we're gonna try to use most of it. I'm okay with a little bit of overlap. All right, let's see if I can keep it on track this time. Because it seems like, well, you can see as we went down 
the edge of the field there. It's almost like the field curved a little bit on us. Either that or the tractor curved. And we started to miss a little bit on the edge of the field. So, not exactly sure what's going on here, but we're getting the job done much, much quicker than we did in the last video. All right, as time goes on, I'll start skipping through more of this. Oh my goodness, it is definitely overcast right now. But for now, we're sort of getting the idea. And the point of the, this Let's Play series, in part, is to let you guys see... I can't see a thing as far as where we are on the thing. Anyway, to let you guys see um, exactly how the gameplay works and sort of how the mechanics of the game work right now. All right, I give up. I'm going to have to turn the lights on to see anything because when it is overcast here, it is overcast, almost dark. All right, so we'll get some lights out, and this will definitely help us. You can see we're already, we have a good bit of field left, and we're already nearing 50% completion. This is the joy of having much better tools, and just as I get my working lights on, the sun comes back out. So that was a very quick, must have been like one cloud that went over. Alright, I am doing a terrible job of this. We're getting way too much overlap. But overall, this is much better than what we had in the previous video. I'm not sure, as I alluded to in the last video, I'm not sure how our farmer that we're doing this work for actually stayed in business for as long as he has if he's using the smallest tools available. You would think over time he would have upgraded so that they could get the job done much quicker. But it doesn't seem like he had has done that. So we're stuck using, whenever we use his tools anyway, we're stuck using the very basic beginning tools when I would definitely prefer to be using at least one step up because in most cases that I've seen so far if we could just get one step up from the basic then you could see a huge difference in the amount of time it takes I mean here this is the second cultivator in the list and it is twice the working width of the beginner cultivator so a huge difference and it's only a few grand more so it's not like it is a huge capital outlay to purchase this one all right very nice we were coming in on three quarters of the way done and we've made about this is what our fourth our fourth swipe down the, the field i think that's right and yeah we are moving right along and this, I expect much more of this as time goes on, particularly as I would expect more of the working with your own tools type of jobs to be available. And of course they do pay quite nicely for a few minutes of work. We're gonna get paid around $8,000 if I remember correctly, somewhere around that number. make as good a cut as I can here there we go try to have as little overlap while at the same time making sure that I don't miss any area the perfectionist in me wants me to not miss anything but then the reasonable part of me says it just takes too much time in this game to make sure you hit absolutely all of the field all right so we are very quickly nearing completion here and once again the good news is that we'll reach completion well before we actually reach 100% of the field being done in case you're wondering what these wonderful uh, ran seemingly random lines in the field already are that we haven't gotten to uh, that is from where I plowed the field originally that was a few videos back can't remember exactly how many it was ago but a few videos ago I had to plow this field with the beginner plow and it took forever and the field required me or the job required me to essentially get 100% of the field done in order to trigger 100% completion on the job that was not fun that was by far the least fun job we've had so far and so far that was the only time that I've actually had to make a cut in the video because it was just taking forever we'd have had an hour and a half long video at the rate it was going and we definitely don't want that. 
I want you guys to see the gameplay, but there's no sense in watching me spend, you know, 40 minutes uh, having to plow a field with the absolute beginner level tools. All right, so just any moment, we will be getting completion on this job. We will be able to receive our money. There we go, so it looks like we're gonna have one more swipe down to actually complete the field. All right, so you did a great job there. You worked on the field like it was your own. The reward is yours. All right, so normally at this point when we're using his tools, we have to take his tools back around the shed on the farm. And as soon as we do that, we get our money. But now since we're using our own tools, we're good to go. All right, so our job is over. I'm gonna hit, go ahead and hit control. Let's go ahead, raise the cultivator up and then get it folded. For now, I'm gonna take a chance to turn the working lights off and we're gonna head back over to the job board. So that was a very nice sum of money. All right, let's head over, let me hop out. Head back over to the job board and see what else he's got for us. All right, we've got a watering job, a plowing job, and we're using his plow, although it does look like it is a much longer plow. Let's see, on field one, okay, this is where we were cultivating earlier. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take this one. This longer plow, uh, whoop, never mind, never mind. The watering job, that's something we haven't done before, and it, and it reminded me that we need to get experience doing several things because, again, a few videos ago, earlier in our playthrough, we came upon a different farmer who had some jobs available, and it required experience doing certain things. Well, we hadn't done those things. And so we're going to go ahead and get some experience watering. Let's go ahead and accept that job. And we head over to our tractor. So far, I think the sensitivity is a little bit better. I could lower it a little bit more if I wanted to, but not too bad. Much better than it was at the beginning of the game, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and sort of get close enough to trigger. There we go. So we pick up our weight. All right, now this implement is in a terrible spot. And the reason I say that is because we don't have all that much room to get in here <laughs> and maneuver. And our maneuverability is not all that great as it stands now anyway. Okay, so it looks like, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, just above our speed, you can see that it shows we got 10,000 water here. So it's already filled. And if you're not familiar, the water filling is just back behind us. We just passed it. So if we needed to fill this implement up, it would not be an issue. All right, so where are we headed? There it is, I see over there. So we're headed to, is that field four? If it is, this won't take long at all. Yep, it looks like it is. Of course, if you're new to the series and our playthrough, then I'll let you know that field four is where it all started for us. This is the field where we did our introductory uh, tasks and, and jobs. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing a little bit. I have no idea how wide this spray is gonna be. So let's go ahead and back up just off the edge. Let's press control and activate the tools. Where is the, oh my goodness, that's pretty, that's a pretty wide. Wow. Okay, this won't take long at all. Yeah, because we're shooting well off the side here. I wish I could actually zoom out a little bit more. Okay, we're not too bad here. This isn't, this isn't bad at all. All right, yeah, this is only going to take us just a couple of minutes. We need more jobs like this. Now, as it starts to rain, this is a great time to point out that one of the things you see in the game is at the top of the screen, the, the middle of the five icons up there is the level of water on the field. 
Well, that seems like something that the rain would take care of, but as of now, the rain is only graphical, okay? Meaning that the rain does not have any effect on the soil of your fields. And I'm just gonna have to eyeball this. Oh, I see it over there now. It actually is telling me where we've already sprayed. All right, and we are almost done. This is, this is a wonderful job here because we're gonna hit 100% quickly. All right, there we go. We are done. Let's deactivate the tool. And all right, I like that. It, it actually did give us a way of seeing exactly where the soil was moist and where it had yet to be sprayed. I like that. All right, so we're moving right along. So that took us, what, a few seconds, really, is what it seemed like. Let's get through. Now, granted, we're only going to get paid, uh, instead of the 4700 that we were looking at before, this amount of money that we're going to get paid scales with the size of the field. So the bigger the field, the bigger the reward. So $2,500. All right, excellent. We will take that. And now we will head right back over and see what we've got next on the job board. Now, our goal is to branch out. At some point, we'll branch out and go see what the other farmers have in store for us. Let's see, we got the plowing job, which we may go for next. Oh, we got a fertilizing job. There we go. I like this a lot. Again, trying to experience new activities on uh, in field work that we've not done. So we had not done the, the watering, now the fertilizing. I definitely want to do that. It's on field four, which is where we just left. And this, once again, should not take very long. So we're going to head. All right, where does it want me to go? Go to the job location. All right, so it's already there. Is that right? So the fertilizer is already there? This will be the first time that we've actually had an implement that was ready to go for, uh, okay, there's nothing over here. Go to the job location. All right, we're here. Fertilize the field. Um, okay. Let's pull up the mission. Oh, it was a bring your own equipment. Okay. <laughs> Look at me not paying attention. All right. So now that means we are going to have to, all right, we need fertilizer. Fertilizer spreader. All right. Let's go ahead. Select that one. hundred horsepower. We're good there. And we're going to go ahead and rent that. Now we need to find our tractor and reset our tractor all right there we go and we're, i'm going to press the comma which is going to get us back over just a real neat time saving maneuver here this will allow us to get our fertilizer all right so we've got our own equipment now we're going to try to head over we got a little over 24 minutes left. That should be plenty of time because I don't think it's going to take very long for us to do this, but it looks like I should have paid attention a little bit better because I did not even notice that this was bringing your own equipment. That's what I get for not paying attention. All right, so now we've got to hope that there is fertilizer on the farm. If not, I'm going to have to come back down and purchase some. And the place I would purchase it is actually coming up on your left. As we drive through town, there we are at the farm supply store. That's where you purchase your seeds, fertilizer, uh, bug spray, and you know for insecticides, and, and basically all of that type of thing is purchased right there at the supply shop. But for now, let's go over here and hopefully fill up here on this guy's farm because if he doesn't have any fertilizer that's even more money out of our pocket we're only renting this equipment so I'm not terribly worried about it all right there's the insecticide there on the left seeds on the left hand part of the shed here we're gonna head right here wait till it triggers Please trigger. 
Oh, no fertilizer. Of course there's not. Of course there's not. So let me get this straight. We bring our own equipment, but we also have to bring all of the stuff. So if we seed for him, are we going to have to go buy our own seeds as well? I really wish that we could buy this stuff remotely, but I have yet to find a way to do that. So it's back we go to the farm supply store. Luckily, it's not very far. Cross over the river, which I'm sure the developers put this in the game just so that we couldn't cut across and we would actually have to use the bridges and the roads. All right, here we go. Oh, turn. All right, there we go. Open up the... So fertilizer, now wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. You need to own, to have your own farm before you can use this feature. Um, can I do anything? Nope. Seeds? Nope. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I have an idea. This is where we're learning together. Let's go to the shop and maybe he's got slurry. Maybe that's what he's got. All right, so you got 10 meters, 10 meters, and 10 meters. Wow, this is interesting. I wonder, all right, it's just a bigger tank, really, it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and select this. All right, can I get out? Well, yeah, I can get out right there. All right, so now let's go pick up, oh, look out. Don't hit the rocks. Is that will probably flip over our track. All right, so we're gonna learn this one the hard way. Now we have to go back to the supply store and I'm gonna to have to leave our fertilizer there. I don't want to, but I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. All right, so there's the supply store, or excuse me, the uh, vehicle shop right here on our left, next to the donut shop. And there is our slurry tank. Okay. So now I'm actually to prevent, hopefully, any issues. Since everything that we buy new spawns over there, I'm going to go ahead and drop this fertilizer over here out of the way. Just to hopefully keep from having any issues in the future with things trying to spawn in the same area. That's happened on the farm, where if you get several implements, as soon as you hire a worker to do it, then things have begun stacking up. That was addressed in this second update to the to the beta, but you know we'll we'll not press our luck here. All right, so now we got our slurry tank, and if he doesn't have any slurry, then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Because at this point, that's going to mean that we essentially don't have a way to get fertilizer. And in case you're wondering why I didn't check all of this beforehand, well, number one, to try to save time. And number two, these are items that I'm going to want to accumulate over time anyway. So I'm not terribly worried about the expense. We're just renting these items. So the cost is not really an issue. And if I see that as we go along, I'm not using for instance, the slurry tank that we have now, then I'll simply get rid of it. And it will not have cost us very much money anyway. All right, the slurry tank is actually right in front of us. You can see it there in the distance. Here we go, let's hope for the best. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is empty. So let me think, what other options do we have? So, all right, let's go back to the, to the mission. The mission is bring your own equipment, look for experienced land workers, required knowledge of fertilizing equipment, and the use of machinery as much. Okay, well, we've, I think, got that, but we just need the fertilizer. And you haven't given me any fertilizer. 
There's your water, seeds, and the fertilizer. But you haven't given me any. Where else could I possibly go for it? That's the insecticide here to our right. All right, I'm confused. I have absolutely no idea. All right, I am going to drop off the slurry tank right here. This is odd, because at this particular point, I have no way to do this job, uh, or at least no way that I can think of. All right, let's come back over, over here. I'm just gonna hop out of our tractor right here and head back over to the job board. So I'm gonna have to cancel this job. All right, so it's not showing up because I have a job acting. I'm gonna have to cancel the job. He's gonna be disappointed. All right, man, I sure do hate to see that. So that one, that's kind of bugged. Um, again, unless I'm missing something. All right, so we need an experienced farm worker to commence ASAP, and it is a plowing job. All right, let's go ahead and take this one. Plowing job, let's head across the road, try not to get run over. All right, so then once again, we're gonna go pick up our implements starting with our weight press one Let's see if we can get this bad boy to turn and we cannot I do like this tractor though this is nice seems like a bit too much tractor actually to be pulling this plow because actually if I'm correct, this is the same plow we're, we have, isn't it? Oh my goodness, what just happened? Woo, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have liftoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a bug. All right, what happens if I just try to get rid of the implement? No? All right, return to the job area. Okay, well, I didn't leave the job area um, on purpose. Let's try this again. All right. We, oh, there we are. Yes, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't realize we were working on the NASA farm, but apparently that is exactly what we're doing. Oh my goodness, we're in the, we're in the water. Are we gonna drown? I think we're gonna drown. Ladies and gentlemen, this ends our Let's Play series of real farm why because we are apparently about to drown okay so get back into the vehicle i don't think so can i get out of this yes i can all right so i think it's safe to say we're not going to be doing that job at least not right now so that cancels the job you disappoint me yes i know i was not ready to be an astronaut today I expected you to work on the fields as if they were on. Why not give it another try? All right. So, yeah. Um, let's just head back over. We're going to give this one more try, because why not? Right? Why not? What am I doing? Let's go ahead and sort of cheat a little bit. All right. So is this field, is this job still available? Plowing the field? Absolutely it is. All right. We are going to accept this job all right and let's hope that this doesn't happen again all right so there's our implements and by the way while uh, while I'm at it let's look at our plow all right our plow no it's a little bit different yeah it's different than this one okay so it's not the same and this one actually looks like it's got a longer well no maybe not Thought it maybe had a, a bigger, uh, a wider working width. Okay, here we go. Try number two. It was just a glitch, right? It won't happen this time. Nope, no way. It's impossible. Not gonna happen this time. We're gonna come around here and very carefully. 
hook up our jet engine. I mean, plow. Come on. A little bit farther. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, here we go. Do I dare try to move? Is it even going to matter? Oh, there we go. We're out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this would appear to be a bug career. <laughs> wow. Okay, can we? Nope. We're trying to move? Can't move? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have found an impassable point, at least for this particular farmer. So we're going to leave it here for now. I still very badly want to get loose here. What if I just, can I get rid of it? No, it just keeps saying I'm canceling the job. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to leave it here for now. Thank you very much for joining me. And hopefully when we come back next time, we'll actually be able to find a job that we can actually complete. Wow. So join me next time where we'll do more jobs in the career mode of Real Farm.